presence means essentially being there and connecting as human beings. In a physical classroom or office, this happens naturally. But in online education spaces, presence is something that needs to be created. I'm going to share three key pointers on how you, as a lecturer, instructor, or staff member, can create presence in online spaces so that online spaces do not feel cold, impersonal, and distant. This is going to be particularly important under these conditions when everyone is feeling disorientated, anxious, and isolated. So number one, be visible online. Let students see you online. Make use of announcements, post in forums, respond to queries, set up forums in your Vula site where you and your students can share thoughts on interesting topics or questions or articles read. Don't forget to acknowledge posts made by replying or liking posts made by others. Feedback is also important in making people feel heard in the online space. You can also get creative in responding, so don't only send texts, but short videos or audio recordings, like voice notes. Number two, make sure students know how to get help and provide multiple channels for raising different problems, a technical problem, an admin issue, or a content query. If possible, enlist tutors to assist. There is often a concern about having to be available 24 seven. This is not necessary, but you should make it clear when and how students can contact you. Virtual office hours are a good option, which will mean being available online for voice or video calls or emails. Establish a clear protocol about how to get help, which will reduce anxiety and make keeping in touch easier. Number three, two-way interaction. Use tools to make the online space interactive, engaging, and reassuring that others are there too. Vula has some simple tools such as Q&A for anonymous questions, polls and quizzes from which you can share responses, or setting up a Google Doc sheet and using it in ways that students or colleagues can work together and can see others are online too. When creating presence in online spaces, it is also important to know that there are different people or users with different needs who will be in this space. Some may not be English mother tongue speakers, some may be visually impaired, or some may not be able to concentrate for long periods of time. It is therefore essential that whatever you do online in creating presence be in ways that are accessible as far as possible to as many as can be. Think about using multiple different formats when sharing information and also receiving information from others, such as having text and audio or having a text summary of what was spoken about in an online meeting in case someone forgot or lost focus. Also, think about the accessibility of colors, images, and font size when sharing or working on documents collaboratively. These are just a few things you could consider. Vula has many cool features too, so do test them out and let us know how you use them to create an online presence that is also inclusive of different user needs. If you have any general tips related to online spaces and presence, please share by emailing us.